Hey guys, and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. I am so, so excited for this video because I am gonna be flipping the kids' playhouse. Actually, I have to give you guys a whole bunch of credit. I had so many messages saying, you should flip it, you should totally redo it. And then you guys were sending me pictures of your houses Playhouses, I should say, um, that you guys have flipped. And it gave me a lot of inspiration to do this one. So honestly, I have to thank you guys for giving me the idea and the inspiration. And I've been looking up different things on Pinterest and looking at the pictures that you guys have been sending me. You guys sent me some reels and TikToks and everything. So I am so, so excited. I kind of have a game plan. You guys know me, I have everything up here and I just have to like hope that it comes out the way that I envision it. My plans are, is that I'm definitely painting it. A lot of you guys said we should paint it the same color of our house, which our house is very neutral. It's like gray, cream, and black, especially in the front. So I'm kind of gonna do something similar to that, but not exactly. It's definitely gonna be neutral though. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys everything that I got. Knowing me, I will probably need to get something else, but let me just go ahead and show you guys what I have so far. So really quickly, a little backstory about the Playhouse. We recently got a Sam's membership. You guys saw the grocery haul. If you guys have seen that video, then you guys also saw Frank putting it together. If you have it, I'll link it down below. And when we first went in there, it was one of this Playhouse and another Playhouse was the first thing that we saw. The other one was out of stock. They had this one. This one was for a really decent price, especially being that it's wood and it's a really nice playhouse. We left Sam's and the whole day we were thinking, oh man, we should have went back and gotten that playhouse or we should have got the playhouse while we were there. So we went the next day, picked it up and actually got a few other things for the kids for Christmas that we stored away. A lot of you guys thought that this was their part of their Christmas. This is just for like the summer and helping them keep them entertained. We actually got like a little pool for them as well. Anyways, that's a little backstory about the playhouse and it's fine like it is. And the kids have been playing with it every single day. I don't need to redo it. I don't need to flip it but you guys know me. I love doing this kind of stuff. I love being creative. We just love doing projects regardless if they're necessary or not. So I'm gonna turn this playhouse into a little mini house. Not gonna lie though, Luna thinks that this is her house. There's a little doggy door right there that she goes in and just stands in there. But go ahead and show you guys what the playhouse looks like. The roof is plastic and the windows are plastic but everything else is wood. So here's what the front looks like. Legit looks like a tiny mini house, but kid size. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I have everything laid out on the table. Like I said, I might need to get some more stuff. We'll see. I'll probably add some things as I go. But Frank went to Lowe's for me and got me all the stuff that I needed to paint the house. So we have our liners, frog tape. I'm telling you guys, you know how much, if you've been watching our videos, how much we love to paint our house. Frog tape is way better than the blue one, I promise you guys. Paintbrush, some rollers. So we are gonna paint the whole outside, well I shouldn't say the whole outside, but the majority of the outside white. So he got this Valspar Storm Coat exterior paint. This is a satin finish and it's called High Hide White. Also some Krylon Fusion all-in-one spray paint, satin black. This is for any surface, it says no sanding max rust protection and it's for indoor and outdoor oh also liner because we i am going to be doing this on the patio so i don't want any paint to get on the patio so we're definitely going to put that down and then some krylon color max black paint as well this is a acrylic latex indoor outdoor satin black this is going to be for some of the trim on the playhouse so originally i was going to put artificial turf down because we want to put it in the yard and i obviously don't want the kids on the dirt in the mud and everything where we plan on putting it so i was going to do artificial turf but then i saw these like wood tiles patio tiles and i thought these were really cool so i'm going to put that underneath the playhouse that won't be until the end when we do put it into the yard and i don't know if maybe we'll need another pack because it only came with nine, we'll see. Actually, Amazon has something similar to this, like the interlocking tiles for fake grass. So, I don't know, that was very tempting to get. This is also from Amazon, and you guys know I will link everything down below for you guys, but these are pathway lights, and they are completely solar panel. I didn't wanna do anything battery or plug-in or anything like that. So I thought these were really neat to put on to the playhouse and it comes with a pack of two. And then I also saw this solar panel, twinkly lights to put, maybe I was thinking on the back 
uh, where there's like that big window area, maybe hanging it or stringing it somewhere around there, or maybe even on this little shelf right here. So this is really cool because it'll charge during the day and then in the evening and night it will turn on. And then you guys see those two little uh, holders, flower holders right there. I got some artificial ivy and flowers to go in there. I'm still deciding on how I should go about putting it in there. Do I need to hot glue it or styrofoam? I'm gonna be learning as I go, as I make this. And then this little wreath for the front door or maybe even for one of the windows. We'll see what I decide to do with that. And then I got this really cute artificial succulent hanging planter decoration that I'm gonna hang up in there. So everything I found on Amazon and I came across this, it was actually called a playhouse play mat or welcome mat and it is the cutest thing ever it's so tiny if you guys can see in reference to well i have tiny hands but in reference to my hands it's pretty tiny and then this is just an old rug that i've used before during the fall um, that i would put on our front door with a welcome mat so i'm gonna see if it will fit i haven't tried it out yet but i'm gonna see if it will fit if it doesn't it doesn't but i just want to at least try if not I think the front little area right here would look so cute with the artificial grass in the welcome mat. So we'll see if I'll use that or not, but that is everything that I've got so far. The first task that's probably going to be the hardest, well I know it's going to be the hardest, is painting all of it. I'm undecided if I want to go ahead and paint the majority of it with this paint or do I want to spray paint first. That is what I'm trying to decide. Let's go ahead and get started. I am so, so excited. We just ran out of spray paint, but I will say one can of spray paint almost did the whole roof. I'll show you guys this side. So I'll probably need a second coat just to make sure everything is nice and even and to get like in these little crevices right there and then the top just needs to be painted. But I'm having a hard time deciding how I want to paint this because I had a clear idea, but now I'm almost changing my mind. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do this the white windows black and then the wood part white and this white so majority of the house will be white and then painting the door possibly white that's gonna be a hard one because that door is already pretty dark and then the plastic windows black and then the fence black I don't know and then painting this white been decided the the plastic windows are gonna be painted black so instead of taping that part off just we're them. just gonna go ahead and take them off there's only four I think so that those two the one on the door and then that one right there okay. I want 
done did two coats this is a little bit more tedious than I thought because I'm having to take like tiny you guys probably saw me in the time-lapse tiny little brushes to get in the crevices and get into like all those nook and crannies and make sure everything's even because you can see let me see if I will focus it's not focusing hold on there we go I had my camera on the wrong setting but you can see this is just one layer of paint so definitely gonna have to put two on there oh like you can see right here very Freaky. I don't know if it's gonna, there we go. But so far, I think it's turning out pretty good. It's getting a little bit messier than I thought, especially with the kids running around and everything. And I'm debating if I should paint the inside or not. I haven't decided yet. I don't know, what do you guys think? days later now I want to show you guys everything that I painted a couple days ago I got all of this side done and I did decide that I was going to paint I think I already told you guys that but I did decide I was gonna paint the inside as well just because it looked off because this playhouse is kind of open you obviously can see right through it it looked weird the white being on the outside and then seeing the brown on the inside so I went ahead and started painting I just have to finish that this side I believe yeah this side is completely done this side is almost done I just have that little section right there and to paint the bottom and then I have to paint this side of the front and then the rest of the inside and what I've been doing is I've just been taking off stuff as I work on each side so I had to take off everything right there to work on that side and then this ledge and the doggy door I had to take that out and I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to take this door out to finish this side as well and then we have the fence I took those off and we had to put the windows back but I'm thinking we might have to spray paint them a little bit more you can see right here some of the white showing through but we had to put them over here because it got really, really hot and it started to warp the plastic a little bit. So it gets so hot out here. I even had to put this umbrella over the house because it was just way, way too hot. Even in the shade, it is brutal, like very humid. So once I get it painted, the next step will be 
putting the windows back on and then adding all the extra stuff like the lights and I'm still deciding if I'm going to paint the fence or not. I'm even deciding if I'm gonna leave this, this color. I'm thinking I'm almost gonna go ahead and paint it white. that we've ever attempted it always ends up taking way longer than we expected I feel like we're on 342 days of working on this playhouse so a huge rainstorm and thunderstorm came through here last night and I was nervous because I had just painted it not yesterday no the day before but I was still nervous I'm like I don't know how the paint's gonna hold up I don't know how the spray paint's gonna hold up and it actually did get a little dirty in some places but it held up pretty good and I don't see any places where the paint came off I know it's outdoor paint but still I just got a little bit nervous I was thinking oh no I've got to paint some more it's gonna get messed up the playhouse is fine and I think now since I'm done with the painting there's a few places I've got to repaint or respray paint on the windows um, so I'm gonna do that today I'm gonna to put the lights on and then decide what I'm gonna do with this fence I have not fully decided yet about the size of the screws or the length I should say of the screws. So I looked inside and saw that the screws went, oops, camera doesn't want to focus, right through. So I'm gonna have to take them out. We're gonna have to get some smaller screws. Cause obviously we don't want one of the kids, oh my God, it scared me. It just scared me. I don't want one of the kids to scratch themselves or hurt themselves on that. So I'm gonna take them out and then put some new ones in. good idea on painting because I was debating should I paint the door on the playhouse I was either gonna do white or leave it and he said why don't you paint it the same color as our door so we got the paint from two years ago and just like you guys saw it was clumpy and not good so he went to Lowe's again for the second time today and got some more paint so this is the color meant to be by Valspar I couldn't remember for the longest time what the name of it was called I get questions all the time about our front door and the color so if you want to find the perfect mint color minty blue color get meant to be by Valspar so I'm gonna go ahead and put it here to get me another paintbrush as well but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and start painting this close 
this close from finishing the playhouse. I am so, so close. So I think where I left off yesterday, and I wholly did not think that this is gonna take over a week to do, but I've been having to do it just little by little each day. But yesterday I showed you guys that I, and the lighting is so bad right now, but I left off on painting the door. So here is how the door turned out. I'm so glad I decided to paint it. Uh, I feel like you guys cannot see how it really looks right now because of the lighting, but I'll show you guys later in this video, obviously, how it's gonna turn out. And I didn't show this, but originally my plan was going to be painting the fence black. I showed you guys that I got the black paint. I decided I am not gonna use the black paint. I'm not gonna paint the fence black, but instead, I took off the little flower. They're like little flower planters. I took those off, spray painted those black. So the rest of what I have to do for the playhouse, now that everything's painted, not painting a single thing anymore, I'm going to add all the extra decor and details. So I have the wreath, I have a little hanging plant. I did put the lights on, I showed you guys that. Um, some twinkly lights and, oh, I didn't show you guys the floor yet either. I went ahead and put that in here. Now it only comes with nine tiles. So since I am gonna be moving this into the grass, I'm almost tempted to buy two more sets of tiles and having it sit on top. But for now, it'll at least cover a majority of the floor in here. That way they aren't, when they go play and I put it in the grass, they're not getting mud and dirt all over their feet. It's kind of like a little barrier. But like I said, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and add the finishing touches and I think that will be it. I will officially be done with this Playhouse makeover flip video. Okay, so originally I was going to put the flowers in here and just glue them down, but then I got to thinking that this is going to be a little bit in the sun, so I was worried if I put hot glue in here, it was just going to melt. So I got instead, hopefully the camera's focused because I've had so many focusing issues lately. Um, instead, I got styrofoam like plant styrofoams to do like artificial arrangements so I got this to go in here obviously I need to cut it down and then that way it's not permanently glued down and I can change the flowers so when fall comes around I could put some fall flowers out here I can change the flowers if I need to I can just take the other ones out and then replace it and just stick it in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to cut I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cut this in half and then obviously it's not long enough either so I'll put a little section right there or maybe I can do it this way I haven't decided yet either way I'm gonna cut it in half little command hook I'm hoping that this will be strong enough I think it will for the wreath I just hope that I always worry about the heat and it melting stuff off so I don't know we might have to get a bigger hook but we're gonna try this one this little hook I got the little sticky side that I just need to take off gotta put this right on the door and then hang the little We went ahead, we put the playhouse in the yard, 
and Frank actually put some sand down in the yard to level it out because it was a little uneven where we wanted to put it. But here is how the playhouse turned out. Frank actually put some sand down to level out the playhouse, which I'm glad he did because before it was a very unleveled, but we also took out the planters and we're actually going to resod this whole section of the yard because where we took the planters out is just dirt now. We have to get drains in our yard to drain the water when it rains because our draining issue back here is so bad, but when they come out here they're going to actually resod this whole section of the yard so eventually all of this will be grass i know it's not so pretty right now but we're not going to focus on that we're going to focus on the playhouse because i love 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 how it turned out do you love the playhouse it really is like a little tiny house now with all the details and decorations you know what you guys i'm actually very impressed with myself because this is the first project i have done where i've done it Pretty much, I would say, by myself. Obviously, Frank has helped me here and there, but 90% of this house, this flipping, this DIY, has been all me. And I am so freaking proud of myself with just how it turned out. And this is actually not originally how I envisioned it, but it turned out better than what I was planning on doing. So I am actually gonna go ahead and end this video. I just wanted to remind you guys that I will leave everything linked down below that I got for the Playhouse. I'll also try to find a link for it, maybe on Amazon or somewhere else in case you don't have a Sam's membership. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys like how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys.